I have a serious bee infestation in my roof. Oh yeah, guys, look at that. We're getting the smoke. It's going in. Open her up. Going in. We're opening the hole, guys. Can we open this? Oh my gosh! This is literally in my roof. If we just barely go and break that cavity, you can see it's just full of delicious raw honey. Three, two, one, go. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well guys, I have a serious bee infestation in my roof. I have thousands upon thousands of bees living in this part of my house right over here, guys. I'm not sure how many bees there are. There could be 500, there could be 500,000, guys. We are not entirely sure, but what we do know is we are going to be removing these bees today and transferring the hive somewhere else. A lot of people like to keep kill the bees when they have bees, but bees are now an endangered species. I do not want that to happen at all. So I have some of my buddies here that are professional bee removers, and we're actually gonna be transferring the hive to another hive so that bees can live on. But guys, let me go show you right now. I'm gonna show you the hive. I mean, I just see thousands of them. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna gently move this out of the way, but look, there is just a bunch of bees in here. You can see them kind of moving in here. I mean, there's just a ton of bees. And guys, if I put my ear up to this, Guys, could you hear that? Listen to that right there. Listen to that. Guys, there is thousands of bees in there. So guys, we gotta go over to my friends. They're here right now, and they're gonna be removing the bees. What's up, guys? We got Adrian right here, the bearded beekeeper. Brother, thanks for coming out today. Thank you for having me. Adrian's helping me out today. Adrian is a professional bee remover, and I know you do other wildlife stuff as well. Correct. Nice, so we've got all of our gear right here. We've got some gloves. And then we got Mike Kimmel, the Python Cowboy. Yes, What's sir. up, bro? How you doing, buddy? Doing well, bro. Guys, make sure to go check both of them out on Instagram. The Bearded Beekeeper, link down below. Python Cowboy, link down below. If you want to see bee removals or if you need bee removals in South Florida, hit up my boy Adrian. And guys, if you want to see hog hunts, you want to see pythons being removed, you want to see all kinds of crazy stuff, guys, you got to go follow the Python Cowboy. Guys, we've got our bee smoker ready to go. So we're using this natural material. We're kind of using this stuff. This is like these wood shavings. We're using this, what is this stuff right here? We're using some dried out hay. And this is what we're gonna use to actually relax the bees. It's gonna calm the bees down so we don't get totally attacked. These guys have bee suits and guys, I have one for myself. But should I wear the bee suit, guys? Go comment down below right now if you think I should wear the bee suit. Should I should I maybe get stung, guys? Let me know what you guys think and and then I'll I decide. Vote for staying. You vote for staying? I vote for staying. I th I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I think that I'm gonna start without a bee suit. And if I get totally attacked, then well, then I'm gonna put a bee suit on. Oh yeah, guys, look at that. We're getting the smoke. It's going, it smells good. Guys, I love the smell of Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that smells good. That's some good stuff right there. We're stuffing it full, we're getting it nice and full, full of this, full of the hay, full of this stuff right here so we don't have to worry about us running out right here. I mean, these guys came prepared. We're starting, we're starting to fog the bees. So this is gonna calm the bees down. We got Adrian on duty right now. Bro, what do you think about this? It's gonna be a big one. Oh my it's gosh, you're like, you're swarmed. Oh, you yeah. already you already got a bunch. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Guys, again, I have no suit on, so guys, comment down below a prayer for me and wish me luck. The moment of truth, we're drilling in. Guys, wish us luck. We're gonna see how many bees are gonna come out. Okay, guys, this is gonna be insane. Oh. Let me go get my other battery. This is okay. not gonna be insane. This is not gonna be <laughs> insane. <laughs> it's got a new battery in. We're going. Oh yeah. Open her up. We're going in. We're opening the hole, guys. We're opening it up. Woo! What are we looking like? Nothing yet. We'll see. We're going, guys. We're going hard. So we've got our initial cuts right here. We've got one cut going up. We've got one going horizontally. And now we're going to drill another hole. And we're going to come down to that. And then we're going to have to take this piece of wood out. The moment of truth, guys. Yeah. The end of the good stuff. Okay. All right, All right go. guys. Guys, when we open this, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh. This is insane, guys. Look at this. This is crazy. There's just thousands of bees here, and we just found the exact spot that they're at. I mean, oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. The hive is here. This is absolutely insane. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Now that we got our first cuts, we're going for our second. Coming 
All right, we're gonna pull it out and see. Oh my gosh, this All is right. this is crazy. Still going. This is literally in my roof. This could literally potentially even get inside of my house. And guys, again, I don't even have a bee suit on right now. This is crazy, but I haven't gotten stung yet, but there's bees literally surrounding me. This is so cool. Guys, how Good cool is this? Honey. Look at that dripping honey right there. As you can see, guys, we've got some fresh honey. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I got fresh honey on my hand, and we're going to try some right now. Mmm. That is, actually bee piss. that is absolutely delicious honey right there. So good. I mean, look at this, guys. As I put my hand there, I'm literally having honey just drip all over my hands. This is how much honey is in here. And I got a bee on my hand. Oh, you're fine. But, guys, let's try this again. <laughs> mm, that is so good, guys. Literally eating honey out of my roof. I was just here right now, and I looked up, and I literally had a bee come and sting me. On my forehead, guys, I thought I was going to escape free. I didn't think I was going to get stung, but I definitely thought wrong. It's starting to swell, starting to sting. Guys, guys, I don't know if I'll make it. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look I at this. He zipped it in. He, he almost just, tagged he, me in the mouth. Yeah, yeah he just has a bee inside of his suit right there. And now that this right here is opened up, now that this cavity is completely open, now is the crazy part. We're going to actually be taking the comb, and we're going to be sticking it in this transfer box right here. Isn't that what we're doing? Correct. Awesome. So Mike right here, Mike, I think you're going to be the one that's going to be grabbing the comb. Mike is going to be taking this comb that's right here and he's going to be putting it in the box. All right, guys, I caved in. I put a bee suit on because we're starting to remove the comb. The bees are going crazy. I already got stung on the forehead. I didn't think I'd get stung. So now what I got to do right now is I've got to take this right here. We're just going to take this. I'm going to slide it on. And now, guys, I'm an official beekeeper. I'm an official bee remover. It's official, guys. I'm locked in. I've got my bee suit on. I don't have gloves on though, but we'll be okay. Look at that guys, we've got some expert comb and look how amazing it is that the bees, their instincts to build this comb right Very here. Very impressive. It's really impressive that these little bugs right here, these tiny little bees can make such massive colonies that they can literally make art. It's just really beautiful and it's just so Adrian, cool. Adrian, correct me if I'm wrong, this is from, it's the perfect diameter of their body, right? Correct, that's exact size they need it to be in order to birth bees. Yeah, so guys, when the birth, when the bees actually give birth, the larvae are actually inside of all of this comb. And you can see it literally looks like this is man-made, but this is literally the bees knowing and having the natural instincts to create such beautiful hives. If you ever see bees, guys, please make sure you don't kill them. Make sure you can hire some beekeepers. And again, if you guys have a bee problem in South Florida, hit up the bearded beekeeper. He's going to be linked down below. He can come and do live removals. He's, he'll take the colony off your hands. The bees will get to live, and then you guys will get the bees out of your home. All of these bees and all this comb is going to go to an apiary. So that is where they're going to take the bees so the bees can live. They're going to get transferred to an area where the bees can actually help pollinate a lot of plants. And so we're not actually killing them, which is not good for the bees at all. Since now, bees are considered an endangered species, so we want as many bees on the planet as possible. So we're actually going to keep some of the comb so I can actually eat it, and this is going to be some absolutely delicious stuff right here. Look at this, guys. This is some good stuff. I can't wait to eat some of it. I mean, this stuff is looking just absolutely amazing. Mike and Adrian have had their turn on grabbing the bees. So guys, now I'm suiting up. I'm getting the gloves on and I'm going to get my hands right on some comb. We're going to be chiseling the comb out and I'm going to be the one that's going to be holding it, guys. Hopefully I don't get stung. I've been stung once on the forehead. I think I've gotten pretty lucky so far, but guys, let's get to it. All right, man. You're going to come on over this way. We're standing where I'm standing. All right, I'm standing right over here, guys. Um, oh, this is so cool. You're going to put your left hand about right, right here, here. All right. and your right hand what's up there once we get down to that cutting position. All righty, let's do it. All right, let's go. Little so, by little. So guys, yeah, we're chiseling up right now. This is so we can save as much of the comb as possible, so we can save all of the hive. This is absolutely amazing to be this close to the bees. I mean, they're just so incredibly cool. Okay. Son. Whoa, guys, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, we just have bees everywhere, guys. Take a look at this. I mean, being this close to the bees is so incredibly cool. Just look at this comb right here. Absolutely an amazing experience. So right now we're looking inside of the comb, and as you can see, if you guys see that white stuff right there, all of that little white right there, those are all little tiny larvae. You can see them right there, the little white dots within the comb. Those are little tiny bees in their larval stage, and they're going to be developing in here, and soon enough, there'll be little bees. So look at how many bees are right here. Like, look at this when we touch this, guys. We're going to go in three, two, one. 
Oh my gosh, I'm literally holding bees. Guys, we're swarmed. We are literally swarmed. So Adrian and Mike have put me in charge of actually chiseling out the actual hive now, the actual comb. So we've just started on this. So we're gonna take this chisel here and we're just gonna slowly chisel up. I mean, this is some tough stuff. It's like very gummy, very sticky. So we're just gonna work our way up here. And then uh, how high are we gonna go up? It's actually breaking right here. Guys, look at the honey go leaking. Ahead and just rip it there. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that delicious honey. This is fresh honey, and we're gonna actually be saving this honey right here. I mean, I literally just wanna bite into this. This is some delicious stuff. As you guys can see here, we have a piece of comb. You can see the bees are stopping at nothing to protect the comb, and you can see it's literally just bursting with honey. If we just barely go and break that cavity, you can see it's just full of delicious raw honey. This stuff is extremely healthy for you we're actually gonna be putting this piece aside because we're gonna actually save this piece we're gonna bite into it we're gonna save the honey for later because honey is very valuable to me it's absolutely delicious I love to eat it and we're just gonna continue to chisel some out I mean there is just some juicy stuff all up in here if we get this chunk right here out we're just gonna go up up we're just gonna chisel right there and we're gonna see if we can get some more good juicy stuff and uh, that is a gusher right there look at that covered in bees and look at that delicious honey. So we've removed all of the comb we have. This is the comb we're actually going to be saving to eat. You can see it's just loaded with honey. But guys, when we look up here, there is literally thousands upon thousands of bees. Let me get this flashlight right here to show. I'm going to show you guys right now just how many bees are up here. I mean, if you guys look, look how many. There's just tens of thousands of bees in here and we're going to have to scrape them out. Adrian's on brush duty. Do you guys need a flashlight? Yes. Please. Okay. So they're going to get on the flashlight. I'm gonna stand right here and guys, be ready, stand by for thousands of bees. Brush them out, brother. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh my God. God. son! Oh my Woo! It's crazy. It's raining. It is raining bees, holy crap. Look at that, look how many are here. Guys, if we just take our hand right here, you can see how many right bees. Look at that, guys, we have so many bees here. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> this is crazy stuff. My camera is literally covered in bees. I wish you guys could see it. There's bees on my mic. There's bees on me. But this is crazy. We're just kind of to actually scrape all the bees off. We have a bunch of bees going inside of their bee box right here. We're trying to get as many in there as possible. But when you're dealing with literally 50,000 bees, guys, you know, we're not going to get them all. Would you look at that right here? We have our honey. We're pretty much done with this removal and now we're just jarring honey. As you can see, we've got jars full of delicious fresh honeycomb and delicious honey right here. I mean, look at this. We literally just have endless amounts of delicious honey. And I mean, guys, it is as good as it looks. It is just absolutely delicious. So we're just gonna continue to jar it because, well, we can eat this honey right here. We can eat the comb and the honey. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So now, guys, I'm gonna try some of this right here. This is some delicious honey. We're gonna eat the comb right here. You guys are gonna see just how much honey is in here. And mm. guys, I'm covered in honey. I mean, look at this. When you go to squeeze this, look how much honey just comes out. Literally an endless amount of delicious honey. The bee removal is pretty much done and Mike and Adrian are actually going to be putting the bee box full of bees and honeycomb inside of this net. The reason being is when they're traveling back to where the bees are going to live, they actually don't want them to fly away so they're going to actually put them inside of this net right now in three, two, one. All right, we're going. We're putting them in the net. We want to save as many bees as possible. Bees are important. Bees are good. We're just going to slide the net on right now and the bees are nice and secure. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you enjoyed today's bee removal episode. Guys, I had an absolute blast today. We got to get some honey. I got stung on the head, and we removed probably 50,000 bees. Guys, we could not have got this done today if it wasn't for my buddy, the Bearded Beekeeper, Adrian. Thank you so much. Guys, if you need any bee removals in Miami, go to his Instagram, hit him up. He is a true professional and knows exactly what he's doing. And guys, make sure you go check out my boy, Mike Kimmel, the Python Cowboy. Thanks for coming out today, guys. You're gonna wanna go check out his YouTube channel for hog hunts, python hunting, all kinds of crazy stuff. The next day. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm sure all of you th are thinking right now, what in the heck is wrong with you, Jacob? Why do you look like this? Well, I got stung twice by bees on my forehead, and this is exactly what happened. I had an allergic reaction. I was fine yesterday. I woke up this morning and I am just completely swollen. I mean, I almost look like a different person. I mean, I didn't know I was this allergic to bees. I had no idea this was gonna happen, but guys, look at me. 
I literally look like a different person, but I had just an absolute blast removing the bees. Adrian taught me so much. And if you ask me, was it worth it or not? It was definitely worth it in the end. So guys, make sure you go comment down below a little prayer for my swelling because I hope this doesn't last long because this right here is not fun.